Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be talking about a specific app which is called as Floating Shortcut Pro and uh, it is still not available in India but uh, one of my XDA friend named as uh, Geek Sampar is planning to uh, release this app uh, worldwide and basically to India region so guys if you want to test this application you can uh, follow the link in the description below I have mentioned his XDA link and that you just need to drop a message to him so that he can give you a promotion code for that and earlier there was uh, one more app uh, from him which was called super shortcut pro i had also made the video on that you can check the description for that video also but today i'll be making a video on this app called floating shortcut app so this is a very nice app made by him and uh, i appreciate his effort so guys i'll tell you how to install that and how to get that app installed on your mobile for Indian region, you won't be able to find it in a Play Store. So you just visit his XDA page. Do let him know in the comment section below, and he will send you the promo code along with an application. So to how to claim that promo code, guys? It's very simple. You just need to head to Play Play Store, and the promo code given by him should be used here. So you need to enter that promo code here, and once you redeem that, you will be able to install the application. And do not forget to ask him at XDA page because here he is not on my channel. That's the reason I'm mentioning his XDA link in the description below. You need to ask him over there so that he will be able to provide you. So now let's take a look at this application. So I have already installed this application. This application creates floating shortcuts and widgets on your home screen if you guys directly want to switch to different app. And I'll be showing you what all the things available in this app. This is the app named as floating shortcut so guys in this there are many options available if you want to create a shortcut on your home screen like i'll select camera i'll hold on this and you get few options available here small medium large or open so i'll select medium and you can see the application is available on the home screen and if i switch to any of the application it, this application will be available on the home screen so i what i have to do is just directly open this and I get access of camera application. So this is a floating shortcut for apps you can create. So I again go back and in this there are many features available like you have floating widgets, floating bookmarks, floating categories and automation features. So first let's take a look at the floating widget. So before what I showed was a uh, floating uh, shortcut so you can create uh, n number of shortcuts on your home screen according to the size and if you guys want to remove this just hold it for a second and you get an option of remove. So this is the way you can remove this and uh, so now let's take a look at floating widget option. So you go to floating widget i have already selected a widget from google so this if you want to uh, use this widget you just have to click on this and you get a google feed available on your home screen so you can move it uh, anywhere and one more thing if i just open it i get th the complete widget available and here one more option is there you can see that green mark so this is auto minimizing so if you hold this and uh, take it towards your right hand side it will auto automatically minimize the widget and if you guys want to remove this widget, you just go here and remove. You can also select the size of the widget by pressing on the top end of the widget and you have options of small, medium, large. So this is floating widget option. You can add n number of widgets to your uh, home screen. So let's take a look at the other option available here. So next you have floating bookmarks option available. So you can add any bookmark over here to access directly so what you have to do is once you add a bookmark you can see the available site or uh, link down so you just have to click on that and you will be able to access everything from here so the next thing what they have is in this floating category and you get few options here to select a category it's like a folder in which you can add few apps to have a direct access so i have already added once you are done with this i'll just show you so to add this just click on this one first you need to enter the name of the category which you want to create so once you name them i have already named here so i just click ok and then you select this option and add the application once three applications have been added you just hit tick and you can see it is available on your home screen 
so to automatically minimize this you just move it like this and you get an option on your home screen and now if you open or if you want to move it somewhere else you can place it somewhere else on the screen so the next feature is automation feature so in this you get to select few features under wi-fi bluetooth gps or alarm so i'll select wi-fi and i select these three apps so whenever i enable wi-fi option i'll get the shortcuts available on the home screen so i'll just show you that i turn off wi-fi first i select calendar also and once i turn on wi-fi all the three all the four applications should appear so you can see all the four applications appears on my screen and the same you can do with the bluetooth gps gps you can select the map application whenever you switch on the gps you will be able to access map so these were the features available in this so next we go to preference so in preferences you have a smart feature like intelligent service uh, set up automated features startup recovery so this will help you uh, in you can select any of the category like shortcut widget bookmarks category uh, once you reboot your device or when the device boots up all the options will be available on your screen next you have interface preferences in this you have shortcut transparency floating uh, view size app drawer transparent theme app theme light and the last one is advanced features in which you have steady mode and system caches so these are the things available and also one more thing this application also has a launcher which you can go to the settings and change it i have two launchers available here one is a floating shortcut launcher and one is oneplus so i select floating launcher and go back so this is a floating launcher here you can select any of applications or widgets directly on your home screen you don't have to access menu so these are the things available in this app so guys if you want to try this you head to the xd link given in the description below go to that link and uh, drop a personal message or a comment in the section of the xd uh, forum and uh, once you drop a message geek sampire will send you a link of the app to download and a promo code available for full version of application so guys do not forget to support the developer of this app if he gets downloads from india he will surely put up that application on to play store so do not forget to support him and that's all in this video guys if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel do subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more updates thanks for watching have a great day